Hi everyone! Welcome to today's reading of Emma's Big Counting by J.L. Cornish. This is the second book in a series of stories where Emma learns about counting, number sense and place value. If you love this story, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to this channel and visit the teacher author website where you can find a range of stories that all include free discussion questions and learning activities. Let's read! Emma was a little girl who loved to run and climb, and as you've probably guessed, still loved counting all the time. She was always looking everywhere for numbers she could count, but what she really wanted was a really big amount. So on a lovely sunny day, she put on both her shoes and walked over to Leo's house, who had lots of toys to choose. Emma looked at all of his cars, stacked in a box so tall. Together they decided to try and count them all. But before they started counting, they tried to estimate. Leo looked at all the cars, and he guessed 98. When Emma looked at the pile, she thought that there were more, and so she estimated there were 104. Then they started counting, each car one by one, but because they were not organised, they forgot which ones they'd done. So next they both decided to group all of the cars. That would make it accurate and easier by far. Emma knew how to count by threes. She did it all the time. So she started making groups and counted three, six, nine. But soon she quickly realised counting by threes was hard to do. It was difficult to figure out what came after 42. And so they both decided they would have to start again. And this time they would try to group them all in tens. Ten was a great number. It was so easy to see. Like if they had six tens, they'd know it was 60. So they made a group of ten and checked it to make sure that each car was organised so no group would have more. They put five cars in a line and another five beside. They could trust that it was ten and use it as a guide. When they finally had finished and all the groups were done, they had a car left over, so they left it as a one. Now the cars were all in groups, the total they both wondered. They knew they had ten tens. So it was one more than 100. This was the biggest number that they had ever seen. Their estimates were close. The total was in between. Emma loved big numbers and challenging her mind. Maybe one day soon, a giant number she will find. That brings us to the end of today's read aloud of Emma's Big Counting by J.L. Cornish. I love how Emma and Leo tried to estimate the collection before counting and they were so close. I think they used an efficient strategy to count the big collection in the end. I wonder if you can see a big collection of something around you that you could count just like Emma and Leo. Don't forget if you love this story then like this video and subscribe to this channel so you can stay up to date with new read alouds. Thanks for listening and we'll see you at our next read aloud.